Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while, but I need you guys to bear with me because I do have two jobs and I have a small child, so it's not as easy as it seems to record and edit and upload videos. But like I said, I'm definitely trying to get into the habit of uploading more so bear with me also you'll want to stay tuned because i do have two update videos for two of the situations that i have previously discussed on my channel so make sure you stay tuned because i do have an update for the video that was talking about the man who thought he gave his wife hiv and i actually have an email from the wife so make sure you stay tuned because it's, gonna, it's about to get real. Um, the video that I'm doing today is not an update video. I'm just going to jump right into it. Um, I do have to say this before I get started in every video. If you are new here and you are confused at any point during this video, please read the description box before you comment anything below. Also, for the people that are leaving racist comments in my comment section, you will be your comment will be deleted and it will be blocked. So if you have anything to say about anyone's race or making them feel like, you know, black people do this or white people do this or whoever does whatever, don't waste your time because I am going to delete it and I'm going to block you as well. So if you're racist and you feel like you want to release that racist negative energy in my comment section don't waste your time because no one's gonna see it hey tiffany this is my second time writing you i'm not sure if you got my first email so in case you didn't i'm writing again and no i did not get your first email i'm not sure if you typed it in wrong or something but i didn't get your first email um i'm currently battling an addiction that i never thought i would be i feel alone because i haven't really told anyone about this except for my sister. My best friend of 10 years did something terrible and has basically ruined my life. I have always treated her like a sister and someone I loved, but she has always seemed jealous of me and had been doing little things over the past couple of years to make my suspicion stronger. I don't know why she would be jealous of me because she has always been the one with a cute or popular boyfriend and nice clothes. Anyway, last year in July, we went to a party with her boyfriend and his we went to a party with her boyfriend and his friends, which are a bunch of college guys. She told me she wanted the night to be special and fun, so she got a joint from a guy that came that came by and left right after they got done talking. She walked back over to where we were sitting on the couch and handed me the joint. I had never smoked weed before and was nervous, but it was my best friend, so I thought everything was okay. I took the lighter and tried to light it. It took forever to do but I finally did it. When the smoke invaded my lungs I coughed and coughed so much. I smoked some and passed it to her. She said she had already smoked before we came so she didn't want to get any higher. I passed it to her boyfriend but he shook his head and said he was drinking tonight not smoking. I took a couple more puffs and put it down on the coffee table since no one else wanted to smoke. I didn't want to smoke alone so I was so it was getting pretty awkward plus everyone was staring at me. When the high hit me, it was literally paradise. I couldn't even concentrate on anything else except how good it felt. I remember thinking, wow, this is why so many people smoke marijuana. A couple of days later, I could not stop thinking about smoking more. I was at work all day thinking about how I was going to get more when I got off. I left work and called my best friend and asked her to get more so we could smoke again. She told me she didn't feel well and gave me the number of the guy that gave it to her at the party. I texted him and asked him if he could give me more. He said, I knew you'd be coming back for more. I laughed because I thought he was funny, but now I know why he said that. When I got to the 7-Eleven he wanted to meet me at, he basically asked me how long I had been into lace weed. I was confused, so I asked him what he meant. Then he started acting like he was nervous and scared and told me that his weed was laced with coke. I freaked out. I left and cried on the way home. I tried my hardest not to call and ask for more, but I couldn't. Fast forward to now, and I still cannot shake this habit my life is ruined and i lost my job i can't stand to look at my best friend's face when i asked her why she did it she pretended like she had no idea what i was talking about i know her and her boyfriend knew it was lace because they didn't smoke any of it that night what am i supposed to do i think that shit is illegal like that's just my that's my take on it i don't know if it is i haven't really done any research but when i first read this email I thought I think it's illegal. I think you may be able to press charges, but then again, you know they would 
they would argue that smoking marijuana is illegal and you shouldn't have been smoking mar marijuana to begin with and if you are then you should know what's in it if you're smoking it i don't know i just think it's illegal and i feel like she should try to press charges because that's not and plus that's some super hater type like you have to be really really hating on somebody and praying on praying for their downfall to give them drugs that they don't you know that they don't even know that they're taking i don't know that's just my opinion if you have anything to say to this young woman um make sure you leave it in the comments below like i said before make sure you stay tuned because i do have update videos for two of the situations that i have previously discussed on my channel if you like these videos and you want me to keep doing them give it give it a thumbs up if you don't like these videos give it a thumbs down i'll see you in my next video